So we're here at the Cypress booth, and who are you? Hi, my name is John Weil. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for our PSOC product line. So, what do you do? What does the company do? We make programmable solutions. Uh, and today, our highlight is our PSOC family, our programmable system on a chip, which is a Cortex M0 uh, class device or a Cortex M3 class device with a PLD, programmable digital fabric, and an analog fabric, programmable analog. So you have a bunch of booths around here yep. uh, talking about the solutions for IoT, for example. So you have uh, solutions for IoT, a PSOC 4 BLE, what is that? So it's our uh, PSOC programmable solution with uh, BLE radio integrated in. And uh, it lets you design your own custom BLE solution. So you can put any kind of communication ports you want, custom logic, you design it all in the schematic interface. So our tool uses a schematic tool. Yeah. And you can click and drag and add new logic, connect literally the way, design the way you think. You can connect wires, put new components in, and it allows you to pack it all into that one chip. What's and, in there? Uh, oh, these are just uh, memory sticks, but the, so the, yeah. this is the module right here. And the chip is uh, this little black one here, this QFN package. And that gives you a full PLD, programmable PLD, Cortex M0, and a radio with integrated balance, all on one chip. So uh, are those for uh, developers? Yes, this is our uh, pioneer development kit. So, yeah. Development kits. We do lots of development kits. We have lots of development kits. We have uh, a brand new development kit that we just rolled out this week at the show is our new PSOC 4 M series. This is a 128K based Cortex M0 with uh, multiple UARTs, CAN, DMA, real time clock, and the full unboxing. programmable. So, uh, you announced it, you're going to ship very soon? Yep, we started shipping next week. So we're taking orders next week. This has our capacitive sensing, so all our PSOC 4 families have integrated capacitive sensing as well as proximity, so you can literally stick a wire in here, make a proximity loop, and see up to 15 centimeters away. Um, full Arduino Shield compliant, so we're a full 1.8 volt, 3.3, and 5 volt product, and you can program our IOs to whatever voltage you want, and full Raspberry Pi interface as well, so we can do all the front end analog and digital interfacing, and then hook up to Raspberry Pi for your back end. And what's the CPU in there? This is a Cortex M0 based product. <coughs> so, um, so do you make the CPU? Well, we make the whole thing, the whole chip, yep. You make the chip, the board? The boards, everything. And yep. it's a good price for this one? Yeah, this one is 25 US dollars. 25 US dollars, uh, that's, that, that means a lot of developers are going to get this, right? Yes, this is super easy to get. It's a, it, and it's a great starting board. And then we have, uh, we have actually our new, this is our second new kit we announced this week. This is a $10 board. $10. Best value in the market. Um, you get a Cortex M3, uh, capable of going up to 80 megahertz, 67 to 80 megahertz. You get a second Cortex M3 as well. These are both PSOC 5 families. This is an onboard debugger. Gives you everything you need to debug the board. Full run, stop, uh, program, flash, erase. Can it's we open? snappable. Yeah, we can take it out. So this, there's a USB at the end there. Or what's yep, it? it's uh, you program, you stick this right, you stick this right in the end of your computer. Yeah, oh, right here. Can you hold it? Yep. Yeah. So you stick it to the computer. Stick that right into the end of your computer. This is your debug circuit. It's snappable right here where my thumb is. You can take this, put it between your two fingers, bend it, and it'll snap right off. Okay. Once you snap it off, you've got a prototyping board you can wire right into your final solution. So it's great for maker and hobby community guys. <laughs> And then we have our USB jack right there on the end. So it's got integrated USB in there as well. This product, uh, you can do multi-channel audio. You can do 20-bit Delsig ADCs built in, two 12-bit SARS, op amps, VDAX. It's a full signal processor and a chip. And uh, this is just $10 shipping like this in this shipping uh, like envelope? Shipping like this in this envelope. Yep. Right there, you ship it to... The ship it all around the world. All over the world. We've sold, uh, of our prior generation of this, we sold about 10,000 a month. 10,000 a month. That's uh, pretty cool. So wh what do people do uh, that develop with your solutions? What, what's the end result? Oh, what's that's, uh, let's go around the corner. I'll show you some yeah. products built on PSOC. Uh, what's he talking about? Oh, here uh, he's giving a live maker demonstration. This is our software tool, uh, PSOC Creator. 
Um, and we have a little robot here. This robot uh, uses our PSOC 5 Cortex M3 to do the drive chain and control. And then the same uh, Cortex M0 BLE radio that we talked about earlier. You sell the car? Uh, not yet. Um, we're looking at uh, rolling it out. But we use it for training uh, for university. It's going to be training. affordable too? Yes, this is this is also uh, less than $100 for the total car. Nice. Let's cool. go around the corner. Yeah. So these are some products that are built on PSOC. Um, this is a brand new drone. Everybody likes drones these days. Uh, this is built on our PSOC 3 family. Um, this is the latest parrot drone, the ultra stable. Yeah, this has crazy stability. This uh, one PSOC controls all four motors. And it does all the commutation uh, in one PSOC. So that's the that's the secret CPU that they're using is yours. Uh, well, no, there's apps processor in there as well that's doing a lot of the compute Which, and gyro. But we're designed, doing the motor control. They designed a custom one or something, right? I don't know. I can't. Yeah. Uh, I don't know all the details so on how they're. they're in there. This is a real consumer product. This is shipping today. Real consumer product. This is a fish finder. Okay. Um, this has a PSOC 5 Cortex M3 that we just looked at on that $10 board. Uh, the signal processing, ultrasound, the transducer control, the LCD graphics, everything all in one chip. Uh, wearable products, these are big with capacitive sensing. So uh, this is a Garmin product, it's a great product. Uh, 50 meters of waterproof, full activity tracker and uses Cypress capacitive sensing to control the screens. And this is a, another wearable product, uh, customer of ours, Strive. Uh, they've got a nice touchscreen user interface and that uses Cypress Capacitive Sensing, which is a, a PSOC concept as well. So, uh, PSOC, that's your concept? Programmable system. Yeah, let engineers design what they want instead of being told what chips that they can pick from. And uh, how, does, uh, how did you design, how did you make this solution? Uh, Cypress has been doing PSOC for uh, more than a decade. We, uh, we started out uh, making 8-bit uh, programmable systems, tiny little chips that customers use to, you know, at the early days, the Apple click wheel was a PSOC product doing that very first user interface. Uh, and now we've uh, moved on to a whole family of M0s, RF, M3 based products, um, a whole host of new, uh, new products constantly where customers are trying to find that new edge and they can design a custom product to do and it. And when developers start using your solutions, they get addicted and they really like this. this yeah, way of once doing you're things. in it, it's super easy to make new changes. So one engineer can do the work of dozens of engineers because once he gets a design, he just goes back to the schematic capture tool. He can change logic. He doesn't even have to relay out his board. It's very much like an FPGA. You can reroute IOs and rebuild the design. So, uh, so it's, it's the, the the key is to make it easy for people to develop stuff, and that's how they will use your solutions and then consumer products. Correct. So right. that's uh, there it is. There's lots of other stuff around here. Yeah, these are Cypress also makes SRAMs. Uh, we make timing control chips. Uh, we make a lot of other semiconductor products.